Hello everyone, so I'm back and uh, I thought I'll start off with uh, the, the the very city that I actually grew up in and uh, uh, which is the the city of Carpi. It's actually located in the Italian uh, uh, province of Modena. So it's a small, it's a city of around 70,000 uh, residents, 71,000, uh, a little over 71,000. And uh, it's uh, again, once again, it's actually part of the Italian province of Modena, which falls under uh, the, uh, the the Emilia Romagna region. Uh, now, I'm actually uh, right now I'm at the, uh, the the city square, or which uh, the Italian term for which is piazza. I'm sure you've heard of this uh, term before, uh, piazza. And uh, this piazza right here, it's actually one of the most beautiful and the biggest piazzas uh, in Italy. And it's actually known as Piazza dei Martiri. Uh, now this uh, piazza was uh, actually, uh, or pretty much everything that you're actually going to see, all, all the, uh, the buildings and uh, infrastructure that you're going to see today, most of it was actually constructed between the 16th and the 17th century. Um, now, uh, so without further ado, I uh, will uh, switch to the, the rear camera and I'll give you a glimpse into um, and a view of this beautiful piazza. And right away, as, as soon as I uh, switch to the rear camera, you'll see that this is in fact actually one of the biggest piazzas. So here we go. There you go. So now we are actually going to be focusing on three key buildings and uh and right at the very end you can actually the, the building you see here right at the very end is the uh the the, the it's called duomo uh it's, it's duomo di carpi so it's a car or in uh, english would be known as the carpi cathedral now the second building which unfortunately uh at the moment is uh going through some renovations on the very right is el castell it's el castello dei pio uh, which uh, translated in English would be the Pio Castle and uh, right now uh, unfortunately it is a beautiful little ca uh, not little actually by any means but it is a castle and uh, it's going through some renovations uh, some of which actually was started back after, right after the, the horrible earthquake that we had back in uh, the, the summer of 2012 uh, and uh, it's, uh, but I'm, I'm assuming that they've actually taken the opportunity to uh, restore uh, and uh, uh, do some, some more maintenance while they were at it. And the, th the third building, which you will see on your right, very right, is the, the, the community theater, Il Teatro Comunale di, di Carpi. Now, as I've already mentioned, apart from the, the Teatro, this is actually the youngest of the three buildings that you actually see uh, on uh, in your view. So now, the other thing is, as you can see, this long, really long gallery it stretches all the way to uh, uh, the, the Duomo, the, the, the cathedral. Uh, the, now, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you would have... Uh, actually seen uh, you've seen these these type of galleries if you want to call them uh, uh, whenever you see something about Italy and these uh, the Italian term for these is uh, Soto Portici so uh, so basically what happens is uh, these old buildings they, they had these galleries and uh, and actually it's it's a, it's a perfect uh, sort of uh, point or location for businesses to be uh, for businesses so for, for and, and there's a lot of shops and and the same actually goes for if you were to look so if I were to turn around and go all of these side little side streets and you would see that the the Soto Portici they're actually ideal for businesses and, and it's just been the way it's actually part of the Italian uh, Renaissance and the Italian culture so uh, now for the sake I'm um, actually I've realized that you know my first video was actually quite a, a, a a, a, a bit long than uh, than usual so for the sake of actually keeping this video uh, under the the 10 minute mark I'm actually I'm gonna start making my way towards uh, Duomo so I'll go past so I'll give you a good view of this of the Teatro Comunale right here 
and uh, as you can see this is actually one of the uh, the youngest buildings uh, in, 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 in the, 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 the city square and uh, it was actually finished in the 1800s late 1800s uh, um, I think it is actually shut at the moment uh, partly due to the uh, the COVID-19 but if you are here uh, do you, there's actually you can uh, go in that's the entrance right there in Trata and you will be able to go in there and have a look at, at, at the, the theater itself uh, and they will and you as long as you're willing to pay the ticket uh, now the other thing I actually I should mention is this the city of Karpi again the idea behind making this video is to actually put a put a bit of a highlight on because obviously everyone a lot of people the the, the, the big land, the landmarks like in, in like places like Florence and Venice and Milan Rome they're actually very well documented and a lot of people uh, there are a lot of uh, videos made uh, to document those they've been extent, extensively documented but the idea behind actually uh, showing you this, this this part of Italy is a, a, a sort of a slightly less known uh, landmarks is so you know that they're here and actually they're just just as uh, beautiful and they do actually carry a lot of heritage and history with them uh, as much as uh, some of the other more well-known uh, landmarks now I don't know if I'll be able to capture the whole uh, Palazzo, uh, this uh, castle, sorry, uh, the, the Castello dei Pio, the, the, the Pio Castle. Uh, the entrance to this castle, so the work on this tower actually started right after the 2012 earthquake, the, the terrible 2012 earthquake, and it's actually a lot, it was a lot of devastation, uh, quite a few people died as well, and, uh, and, and, and myself and my family were actually also impacted by that earthquake. Uh, in the sense that we, in fact, had to uh, live, had to stay outside in, uh, for a good period of four to six weeks. So it was actually quite devastating for the local economy, uh, and uh, I mean, and in terms of uh, uh, financial losses, uh, human losses, uh, and psychological had a huge psychological effect as well. Now, this. Uh, I'm actually now coming over to the the entrance to this castle, uh, Castello El Pio. And the work on this, as I mentioned, started in 2012. Uh, it's been going on for quite a while now. Uh, and so here's the entrance to the... As for, again, for the sake of keeping this video to around the 10 minute mark, I'm, at, I'm not going to be going inside, but again, uh, uh, there's actually there's the uh, the the tourism the the, the Carpi uh, the, uh, the the council website does have quite a, a lot of information about the uh, the opening hours and uh, the state of works or to or it will actually tell you if uh, these sites are in fact open or shut. Now here we actually come to the uh, the the actual icing on the cake, which is this beautiful uh, Duomo, uh, the, the, the Carpi uh, Cathedral. It is shut at the moment. Again, I won't be able to take you inside, but uh, you will see that it is a beautiful building. And uh, now for anyone who's actually interested in uh visiting Tarpi. it's uh around uh 230 exactly two well, i think 233 k's south of uh malpensa airport so if you are actually landing in malpensa the uh the distance between uh here and the malpensa airport is around 230 k's uh we go uh and you can either uh, take a train ah speaking of uh, so if so this street right here goes straight to the copy train station and it's actually quite easy to get to the uh, uh, the, 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 the Piazza dei Marti, the, uh, the city square uh, again there's heaps of hotels uh, and accommodation available around the area uh, 
uh, it might be going a bit off subject, but I mean, as far as I'm aware, there, there are actually quite a few other landmarks, but I think uh, there's actually one of the key uh, landmarks is, if for people who are interested, uh, is uh, uh, there's actually a little town uh, right outside of Kapi, which is uh, known as Fossoli, and that is uh, unfortunately was the site of uh, a, a concentration camp uh, from the Second World War. So it actually does attract that does attract, attract quite a few uh, um, tourists from time to time. Uh, so if that's uh, something that you'd be interested in, uh, yeah, it's there. Uh, now, so just uh, here's another view of this long huge piazza they occasionally they do hold concerts concerts in uh, uh, you know political and uh, rallies and uh, the, the the Thursday and, and Saturday markets are also actually uh, held in this very square that you see before you uh, now while I'm here uh, I think I've just gone above the the ideal, the supposed 10 minute mark, but before I actually uh, finish this, I'm gonna go and do a quick stroll through the, uh, the sort of part uh, the, the, the galleries to give you a, a quick glimpse on, uh, the actual, uh, on these beautiful little galleries. So as you can see here, uh, businesses, uh, and now for, for people who are actually wondering uh, uh, what the situation is post COVID-19 you would you, you'll be able to you, you would have noticed and seen that uh, people a lot of people some uh, a lot most people are actually wearing masks but uh, life as we know the the everyday life has uh, restored uh, mostly it's been restored and there's just people shops are open businesses are open as you can see and uh, and this this part of Italy in fact wasn't actually as badly hit as the, uh, the the Lombardy region, which uh, fortunately, uh, which is being coined as the uh, um, the Wuhan of the West, which I don't think is a fair comparison because, uh, as you know, uh, already the the total amount of deaths in uh, the U.S. have actually uh, surpassed the total the total deaths in Italy. So I don't think that's a fair comparison. But again. Don't want to get into politics here so uh so that's pretty much it so i'll finish this off with the another wide eye wide 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 shot of this uh um uh, castello del pio the pure castle and uh yeah that's it so hopefully you liked this video and if you did please do consider subscribing and uh, more videos of uh, some uh, I, I actually don't have an itinerary at this point but uh, I do actually intend to bring you uh, and make videos of, uh, of some local landmarks and uh, so a couple of which uh, one of which is gonna be the the uh, the, the, the Bologna uh, city square uh so yes stay tuned for that and if you did like the video please do consider subscribing and uh if you got any questions please please feel free to put it in the comment section and i'll uh, try to answer that uh so uh thank you thanks for watching and uh, just stay safe and uh hopefully all of this uh is going to be over very soon